Hi, Maria Gracia here, owner of GetOrganizedNow.com. Do you have fruit flies in your kitchen, in your bathroom, or in other rooms in your house? If so, I am going to help you get rid of those pesky creatures today. And we're going to start with some very, very simple methods. First off, fruit flies are very attracted to any kind of food that is fermenting or decomposing. So it's very important not to have that type of stuff laying around anywhere. Now, let's say you have a bunch of bananas in your kitchen or you have a bowl full of apples and I know they look pretty and I really like having fruit out on the counter. However, day by day that fruit gets riper and riper and you know the banana peels kind of get browner and browner and this is how fruit flies are attracted and once you have them you know all you can do is use other methods to get rid of them they're really um, very buggy <laughs> type of pest so the first thing I do is any fruit that I have out on the counter I put in a bowl and I cover the bowl with saran wrap so basically the bowl is covered the fruit is you know in the bowl the fruit flies don't smell it and there's nothing for them to be attracted to the next thing I do is I'm very careful about not putting lots of food scraps into my kitchen trash can. Okay, um, most of my food scraps, whenever possible, I put into the garbage disposal and you know I run the garbage disposal and that kind of gets rid of all that stuff. If I put it in the kitchen garbage, then the fruit flies uh, are going to have something to be attracted to. Now, if you don't have a garbage disposal, you don't have an outside compost bin, um, it might be a good idea whenever you do put food scraps in your garbage to tie that bag and then put that bag um, out in your garage or um, in your alley if that's where you put your, your trash bags or whatnot. But you don't want to leave it in your kitchen. It's um, you know, just another thing to attract the fruit flies. Now, why do you get fruit flies in a place like your bathroom? Well, once fruit flies are in your house, they kind of can get into any of the rooms and any place where there's going to be anything sweet smelling, hairspray or, or whatnot, you will find those fruit flies. Now, if you have any standing water, and sometimes in the bathroom sinks, you know, there might be just a little water um, sitting on the bottom of your sink, and that can easily keep fruit flies in there. So whenever you see standing water, take a towel or a paper towel, soak it up. Don't leave standing water. Dry your kitchen sink out after you're done. Um, washing the dishes. Okay, so you know there are some other methods that you can use and I'm sure you know you've heard of some of them online. One method I found if you actually end up with the fruit flies and you're trying to get rid of them, you know, you don't want to sit there like this all day, you know, trying to get rid of these fruit flies. I came up with, um, I actually looked online and I came up with a few solutions, but then I was talking to my friend Jen and she used to work in a restaurant and she said there's an old restaurant trick that works really well. So I wanted to give it a shot and it works like a charm. I can't even tell you. So what you need is a very shallow um, plastic or glass container, just like this. You need some apple cider vinegar. Now, apple cider vinegar is very sweet and will attract fruit flies much better than, let's say, like a red wine vinegar. So apple cider vinegar works really well. Take the apple cider vinegar, pour it into your, um, your shallow cup, probably about, I don't know, about halfway full or so. Then you're going to take some everyday dish detergent and you're going to put a drop or two of that into the apple cider vinegar. And then you're going to take this little cup and you're going to put it somewhere in your kitchen uh, so the fruit flies can find it and fly into it. And once they fly into it, they will not live. They won't be able to, you know, swim around in it basically. This sounds morbid, but they will drown in the water, uh, in the vinegar. So we usually leave this on top of our, um, our trash container in the kitchen. There is, it doesn't lift from the top. There's a flat surface, so I can just kind of leave it there and it works perfectly. You can put it on a shelf or you can put it, you know, in an inconspicuous um, place on your countertop. Um, but anyway, at the end of, let's say, this may not start for like a day or two, but after a day or two, you should start see, seeing the fruit flies um, laying on the surface of the vinegar. And at that point, you would just basically take the container and dump it, you know, down the sink or whatnot, and then you would um, start up a new one if you still have more fruit flies at that point. Now, I will um, caution you when you choose your container, 
make sure the container is not paper because the vinegar will eat through the paper and you will just end up with a big mess. Make sure it is a plastic or a glass or a ceramic type of uh, container. So there you have it. I hope this video helps you prevent fruit flies uh, or if you have fruit flies, I hope it helps you get rid of them as quickly as possible. If you like the tips in this video, please click the like link. I would so appreciate it. If you have your own comments about this video or ideas that you might have for getting rid of fruit flies that has worked for you, please leave those comments in the comments box. Um, other readers really benefit from anything that you provide. And remember, there is no better time to get organized than to get organized now.